what's going on everyone in this video we're going to be doing a technical analysis on ethereum currently it is april 13th 322 p.m on the west coast and i'm recording live on the side of starbucks all right so on uh yesterday i did a ta on bitcoin uh, what Bitcoin looked like going into each of the halving cycles. And so I posted that earlier today and thought, why not do CTA on Ethereum? Uh, a lot of charts are blood red. And the reason for that is the global conflict that is going on, which is incredibly unfortunate. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Ethereum and see if we can project what might happen in the future. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. So please do not make investments based on what I say in these videos. And also I am partnered with Bing X. So if you want to trade on leverage, if you want to trade on spot, click my link in the description below and you might get a bonus of 5,000 USD. They are a great trading platform to work with. So check them out today, all right? Here we got Ethereum on the daily chart. Now this one's not gonna be quite as long as the Bitcoin video, that was 35 minutes or so. This one will be closer to under 20 minutes for sure. So let's go back. Uh, I'm gonna pull it up on the weekly so we can really get a macroscopic view of things. Cool. All right, so first thing I do is just map out the horizontal levels that have been established as support and resistance. And so this is not something you should have to think about. The levels should jump out at you. Like I'm not, there's no thinking going on in this process, all right? The chart is showing me where the levels are because of where price has bounced off of or been rejected from in the past. Right, so we're also going to use some indicators as well. Yeah, and when it's not clear, you can zoom in. You can go to other time frames. If you're not sure about something, always go to um, a new angle on it. That's the difference between being right and wrong or being successful and failing. It's just having the right perspective on things. So we're gonna get in closer. So we have our levels, um, 2659, 2300, 2000, 1720, and 1430. All right, so those are our levels. I'm gonna pull up the EPVR, which is the uh, volume profile visible range. We got all the price action right there. Uh, this is not the one I want. There it is. Cool. All right. So as you can see, the bulk of the price action is below two thousand dollars above that it's pretty thin <clears throat> so what does that mean in simple terms in simple terms the levels above two thousand dollars for ethereum are not as established as below two thousand dollars because most of the price action has occurred has been uh has been occurring under two thousand dollars all right so this vpvr really doesn't help us a whole lot uh above two thousand Yeah, it's not super helpful. So in that case, we can go to another indicator. Uh, we're gonna pull up the relative strength index. We are also gonna pull up the MACD. And then we're also gonna use the stochastic, all right? So these show us the momentum. 
all right, if there's positive or negative momentum. Now, right away, nice. <clears throat> now, right away, this pattern right here on Bitcoin, this pattern was a rising wedge. And it just, uh, it just broke support of that rising wedge. As you can see right here, this is Bitcoin, all right? I marked this up yesterday. It was a rising wedge. Look what happened. It broke to the downside. I said likely pullback, leading up to having then consolidation and push forward, push upward. All right. So that is playing out as I thought it would. Now let's pull up Ethereum. And this is actually the same thing. All right. So this rising wedge goes like that. See how it lines up? One touch point, two touch points, three touch points. And then to the downside, it's a little bit ugly. This is a false breakout right here. This section is a false breakout and it lines up with Bitcoin, okay? see that that's the false breakout on Bitcoin it's the same thing so Bitcoin leads the charge and then everything else the lower market cap coins they follow <clears throat> so that's the false breakout this is a rising wedge because you're having uh, higher highs you're also having higher lows after a run-up um, but instead of a instead of a bull flag where a it falls, it's actually rising. All right, so instead of, that, it's simply the inverse. All right, so it's rising, and then you have support, resistance. It's a bearish pattern after an uptrend. All right, so that's what you're seeing with Ethereum right now. So hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well. I know I'm not talking as loudly because I'm in public, but we're gonna try and find some levels where Ethereum might bounce from. So first, we're gonna open up the hourly. All right, so right now, this is a falling knife, and you're never supposed to try and catch a falling knife, all right? You will get wrecked if you try and catch one. You want to wait for a reversal pattern to occur. Now, on the hour, on the 15 minute, you see the, <clears throat> the MACD is bottomed out. So you might see a little bit of a reversal right here, um, going up to that next level, probably get rejected, and then come back down because I'm just not seeing a clear reversal sign yet. Let's look at the hourly. And while we're waiting, guys, I have a free Telegram if you want to join that. We give away trade ideas. I've been trading a lot on Solana lately, so a lot of it is Solana moon coins, but we've done uh, quite a bit of Xs so far, quite a bit of flips. All right, so this is the hourly. Uh, you do have a reversal candlestick right here, this bullish pin bar. So right now we have a level at 28.38. I'm going to pull up the four hour. Uh, you see a long wick to the downside. How much time does that have left? That has, um, has some time left for that candle to close on the four hour. So let's clean it up a little bit. Uh, the RSI is oversold. It's way oversold. On the four hour, it's down to 20. So you might see a pop right here. You might see a quick bounce, uh, but it might be a dead cat bounce. All right, a dead cat bounce is just after a super long fall, and then you get a uh, like a tiny reversal, but it doesn't last long. It has no staying power. So on the daily, 
the RSI is down to 35. I suspect that's going to fall a little bit further with all that's going on in the world, the craziness, the conflicts, there's a lot of uncertainty. So whenever there's uncertainty, you're going to get downside price movement. At, at the very least, you're going to get consolidation. But with what's going on, uh, we've already seen what percentage follows that. Since the local high, that's a 20, no, it's a 30% pullback already. Um, there's quite a lot of uncertainty. So I think Ethereum is trying to find its level, but right now it's a falling knife. And I think this RSI is going to go lower. I think the MACD is going to go lower. If you pull it up on the weekly, you can see on the RSI, it's not even that neutral yet. So I think the weekly has a bit to fall as well. On the movement average convergence divergence indicator, you can see that the short-term moving average is about to cross below the long-term moving average. And you see these solid green bars, they're starting to turn mint green. And eventually they're probably going to turn uh, a salmon color and then a solid red. All right. So this is the opposite of a golden cross right here. Some people call it a death cross, whatever you want to call it. But this is likely to cross below the gold line and then you're going to see even more downside all right so where is ethereum going to find its bottom uh that's a tough question but i'm going to do my best all right so the strongest level and i'm not saying it's going to go here but the strongest support level you have to the downside is at two thousand dollars now why do i say two thousand dollars well it's a round number. Um, everything else is kind of a random, arbitrary number. 2300, 2650, 2830. Those are kind of like random numbers. They, they're not easy on the eyes. And traders are psychological. So you also have multiple touch points right here, right here, right here. So by and large, $2,000 on Ethereum is the strongest level. You have the Bitcoin halving coming up in uh, seven days, in one week exactly. I think you're going to see a, a pullback on Bitcoin and the macro, uh, the macroeconomics of crypto, like you know the global view of all of crypto. I think you're going to see a pullback and consolidation going into the halving. I think post halving, you're going to see um, I don't know when, but I think you're going to see a hell of a run. But for now. For now, Ethereum is bearish, and there's more confluence right here. So this is the monthly chart where each candlestick represents 30 days of price action. So for the month of April, you have this bearish engulfing candle, all right? Because the red candle completely swallows the previous green uh, candle in the uptrend. So right now, I honestly wouldn't be surprised to see $2,000. That's the strongest level to the downside um let's see if there's a closer support level that it might catch at and find support okay so it could find support at 26.59 and what we're looking for here so 26.59 or 2000 those are my two levels that i'm looking at and what you want to look for is a reversal pattern. It's really simple. So you want to see either a inverse head and shoulders like that. That's the neckline. Or you want to see a double bottom. That's the neckline. Or you want to see a triple bottom. Okay. Or you want to see a rounded bottom with the neckline right there. Those are the bulk of reversal patterns that you're going to see. So wait for that reversal pattern and watch for confirmation of breaking the neckline, coming back to retest for support, and then you can put your entries in, do whatever you want with your money, but that's how you play a reversal, okay? You wait for the pattern to form, you wait for the neckline to break, 
and then you wait for it to retest support, wherever that support is gonna be. So watch out for inverse head and shoulders, double bottom, or a triple bottom, uh, rounded bottom. You could also have a V-shaped recovery. Those ones are a little bit trickier, but in the same vein, you're gonna have a neckline where it retests for support and it pushes upward. So just to recap, that's what I'm looking at with Ethereum. Uh, you have this local high of $4,000. I see strong support at 2K, even to the downside. And then I also see strong support at this 2600 area. Um, but watch the MACD, watch the RSI. When the RSI gets oversold, that can be a good indication that price is going to bounce back to the upside. All right. So right now on the daily, the RSI still has some room to move. It's at 36. It could go down to 30 or below it. It could go well below that. On the weekly, it has even more room to go down. Uh, it's currently 55, which is above neutral. It could go down all the way to 30. It still has room. All right, so watch this. If it starts getting in this region, you know, down here, you're likely to see a bounce. And then, you know, vice versa, if you start seeing it where it was, like up there, you're likely to see a pullback. So keep it simple, man. Um, keep your eye on the news if you want to. Uh, I wish for world peace. I don't know if it's possible, but that's what I wish for. Um, I love you guys, and uh, thank you for the support. Hang out with family and friends. Um, yeah, it's cool to make money, but at the end of the day, money means absolutely nothing. So at the end of the day, we're just like, we're just drawing lines on a chart to try and predict the future, to try and give us socioeconomic advancement. But that is not the most important thing. The most important thing is being around your loved ones and making sure everybody is safe and healthy. So I love you all. See you for the next update. Peace.